the federal courthouse in Seattle today, Joanne Thomas learned that her days of freedom are very few. She'll report to federal prison one day soon on a three-year sentence handed down today. Mrs. Thomas, can you tell us what you said to the judge in court? I just expressed my sincerity. Joanne's husband is Alan Benny Thomas, the former longtime elected commissioner of King County Drainage District Number 5 near Enumclaw. Well, we have over... Uh... In 2019, the King 5 investigators revealed the Thomases were keeping the tax money paid to maintain several miles of the drainage district's open trenches and spending it to run their dairy farm. A later audit tallied the amount of their corruption at more than $468,000. And you maintain that you didn't commit a crime still? No. No. But the couple's denials did not convince a jury this summer, which convicted them of crimes including conspiracy, wire fraud, and identity theft. Here at the federal courthouse, the judge told Mrs. Thomas that his sentence would reflect the sophisticated nature of her crime, that the scheme with her husband abused the public trust, and that she committed perjury while testifying at trial. While Joanne Thomas got a three-year prison sentence today, her husband's judgment day was delayed for a month by his lawyer. The delay was is that I, I, was, I had COVID really bad, um, and then Ben was in the hospital for two weeks. Is three years enough in your mind? I'm okay with three years. I don't want to see anybody do to any time in prison, but you know, wrong is wrong and right's right. Um, I'm okay with that as, as a homeowner and a district taxpayer. Michael Hughes is one of the 700 or so taxpayers that the Thomases ripped off. The drainage district tax is not big, but he wants his money back and hopes the court orders restitution, repayment to the victims. Yeah, it's thousands of dollars over, uh, you know, we've been here about 30 years, Chris. So it's a little yearly tax, but he's been paying it a long time and it adds up. In court today, Mr. Thomas's attorney said his client may be able to work out a restitution plan. That's something that will be dealt with at a hearing next month. By the way, the three-year sentence handed down to Mrs. Thomas today is far short of the seven years that prosecutors recommended. I'm Chris Ingalls in the King 5 Newsroom.